Welcome to Teen Tip Tuesday, demonstrating everyday life skills. The more we know, the better we live. Brought to you by OSU Extension. Hello, I'm Kara. And I'm Hazel. And we are members of the Seneca County Junior Leadership 4-H Club. In this video, we will be talking about the various accounts, cards, as well as the process of keeping track of your purchases. Let's start by discussing a savings account. A savings account helps you save up for large purchases. When starting a savings account, it is best to begin by putting 20% of your earnings into the account. Make sure when you're looking for a savings account, there are low to no monthly fees as well as a competitive interest, interest rate. Usually online banks have a higher one, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure your account has the ability to make automatic transactions, which takes a fixed amount of money from your checking account to your savings account periodically. The ability to access online so you can see your money without having to leave your home or before making a purchase. And finally, the most important is that it is insured through the FDIC just in case if your bank shuts down so you can have your money back. Next, we would like to bring up checking accounts. Checking accounts can be accessed by various of ways. For example, by check or debit card. Checking accounts are transactional accounts, which makes it easier for people to keep track of their everyday purchases. Checking accounts make it easier for people to access their money. Debit and credit cards are different in many ways. For example, a debit card goes straight into your account after making a purchase. These normally require a PIN to get into. An easier way to start to build your credit and start an account is by using a prepaid debit card. A prepaid debit card allows you to add as much money as you would like onto the card. But you are only allowed to use the amount of money that you have put onto the card, so that makes it 100% guaranteed that you will be debt free. A credit card charges you interest if you are not able to purchase the item within 30 days. This type of card allows for you to use the bank's money instead of your own money if you are unable to purchase the item at that time but you want to make sure that you are paying these interests so you avoid debt. This is why it's important to keep track of your transactions and keep your receipts. This is why it is good to use a transaction book. You just write down your purchases every time you make one. So in conclusion, we hope that you take the information that you used in this video and use it in your future, whether you are buying a new house, car, or even buying groceries at the store. Basic banking is used in your everyday life. We also hope that you use this information to tell others about the differences between credit and debit cards. We hope that this makes it easier for you to make daily purchases and live your daily lives. 